it's time to actually uh, do something with generics now. So we are going to try to create a generic function that can take any type and, uh, and print it out. So let's call it uh, print number. And you remember, <clears throat> put our main function there. So usually when you uh, have a concrete function, you put something like this, but this time we are going to uh, go with the name T and then to tell Rust that it's generic, we, uh, we put it in, uh, in brackets there and uh, it's going to print so it won't do anything or it won't return anything. And we will say, here is your number and uh, we want to debug print, let's say, and uh, number. And then uh, there we go here and we say, uh, print number, not that, print number, and we will give it an 8. And let's also try to give it a, uh, a float. So we'll do that. And this will not work. And you will soon see why. And here you go. It says T doesn't implement debug and do, 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 cannot be formatted using this because it does not implement debug required by standard format debug debug format and a whole bunch of stuff so this is um this is because you need to guarantee to rust that uh, you're giving it a type that can uh, that can print and uh one uh, one example i like for uh, for generics is let's say um Let's say I say to you, uh, I will give you uh, $100 if you add two things for me. And then I will also say, uh, I'll give you the things next week. And please sign the contract. And then you'll say, you know, what, uh, you know, that sounds good. $100 sounds good. Uh, what kind of things are you going to give me to add? And then I say, uh, well, I'm not going to tell you. Uh, can you sign the contract? And then you start to think, well, I don't, are these numbers? Can you tell me that? Will they be numbers? And I'll say, I'll give you two things. Please sign this contract. And then you'll say, well, well, maybe you won't sign the contract anymore because you, uh, you have to do it. And maybe I'm going to give you like uh, a, an airplane and a banana and you have to add them together. And I didn't tell you how. And, uh, you know, you, you'll you'll sign it if i can guarantee that these are these are numbers or you know something you can add and that is kind of the same way that uh that rust looks at it and it uh it says okay um well this thing you're giving me is it is it printable does it implement does it implement debug and uh you know we didn't say that it does so what we do is we uh we tell it i will give you something if I will give you something that does implement debug. And so first, uh, I want to show you where debug is, not here. Debug. Actually, no. Let's let's make it uh, let's make it display, which is uh, which is nicer printing. So we'll go to display with the uh, with the regular regular brackets. So there we go. Uh, display is uh, is found right here. Standard format display, and Let's, uh, let's copy and paste this in. Um, now the error message will say uh, it needs to be display, I think, whoops. So there, um, does not implement display. So uh, we say T, and there we go. That is how we, uh, we tell Rust that uh, T is going to be a type that uh, implements display and all of a sudden it works. And uh, you might uh, look at this and say that is pretty long. Uh, so you can import it in like this and then you can just say T display and then uh, and then uh, yeah so this is a guarantee to Rust that T is going to be a type that can display with uh, with this. And uh, so it's not uh, it's not telling it's not giving the type display. So uh, you know this uh, this uh, this number here 
is an i32 and it already has display. So by doing this, we are not giving T the power. We're just saying to rest any, any T, any type that we give you is going to be a type that implements display. And, um, and so, and I'll show you, uh, let's make a type that doesn't implement display and we'll give it uh, a number and we'll make a, a new book equals book and then we'll say number is nine and then we will try to print using this uh this function and then it will still complain because of course book doesn't have uh doesn't have display doesn't have debug doesn't have anything uh let's see print number there we go So this is the uh, you know the same message that you see whenever you uh, you try to print something that can't be printed. It says uh, it cannot be formatted. The trade is not implemented for uh, for book. So the uh, the point here is that uh, this is just a guarantee, guarantee, and uh, T display does not mean that uh, the function gives display to t. Uh, it means that that uh, we will only give t's that uh, that have display. And by the way, this is proper pluralization when you have a uh, when you have a single letter. And uh, there we go. So that is uh, the next thing about generics. And there's a lot more to learn. So we'll stop here and uh, pick it up next time.